so guys this is the official website where you can find the whole article and i've already fired up my antivirus we'll be using vmware to do this test so i'll start up my kali linux and take a snapshot you can also check where your snapshot is stored in the documents folder then virtual machines and when you scroll down you'll see a snapshot file over there over here I'm just switching on new tabs and uh, setting them to different colors in order to differentiate them yeah we can get some malware samples from github and then we shall virus total them later on i'm going to just pick one sample and download it Yes, here is the downloaded file. I don't even know its extension, so I'm just going to put it as a malware one like that and uh, store it right there. Yeah, so the properties tell us that it's an executable. Let's see where are total results. It's a well-known Bitcoin miner and you can also put it in uh, hybrid analysis to see further details about it. So the first thing I'm going to do is install uh, Clam AV, it's an antivirus that is supported on Linux. So there are the instructions, you can go and install it yourself. After you've installed Clam AV, you can see the command to execute if you want to scan a file. Now let's try converting this malware one to an executable using ch mode plus x and the file name. ls then you'll see the file is an executable i'm going to get an alternative for glassware because there is no glassware to show us uh, network notifications we'll choose portmaster and portmaster has several operating systems supported going to use this one that is supported on Linux 300 MBs and after installing you can reboot your machine over there and you also convert it into an executable using the same command chmod plus x after that you can also scan it to check if it's a clean file. Yeah, you can check your file against the virus total. So after rebooting, I installed the app again because it failed. There is the command. Yep, so it's done. Code master is installed. Now let's open it and see what we have. I've never used Podmaster. Authenticate. Block ads, malware and all that. Okay. 
all this customization then you see the applications that are currently accessing the internet here yeah, it's a good one so let's try to ping google.com and you'll find this record inside both master so this is another malware malware 3.tar.gzip the first one failed to run so i had to get up right now i just want to go into that folder which i grabbed some malware from somewhere on the internet and uh, just run it right now so that's the name which i copied i just put a dot forward slash on the name and it says permission denied so you have to convert it into an executable again yep paste the name and press enter if you get no error and this file over there turns blue now it's an executable yes now it's running wow wow so malware is running on our system huh, i don't even know its extension i don't even know where i got it from i know it's running and let's confirm if it's running by running it as admin sudo su and you paste the same command and uh, task manager can't uh, what is this I'm not used to that yeah so portmaster is having a record and uh, yeah so the malware is running and there are 16 connections to my computer from the usa and that's the ip address So Linux is vulnerable. Malware can run. Yeah, Avast on my Windows has some records over there. So good.